Okay guys, I'm just checking to make sure I have everything together here. Yeah, I think this will be better. Hi Jill! Hi everybody! I hope you guys can see me. I mean, I'm... Hey Sonia! I have been stuck in traffic, guys. I got off at exactly 6 o'clock. And yeah, I was like speeding to get home to do my razzle dazzle so I can scope. And I am using my tripod. And with that being said, I have to make sure that everything is on. Yes, it was crazy. That traffic was crazy. I live in Jedburgh. If you guys don't know what that is, that's behind God's back. It's takes me an hour a clean hour to get home every day but it's only in reality like a 30 minute drive I'm just waiting for people to chime on hi my loves and for all you people out there who don't know me my name is Tamika Gaddis I am an ambassador of DMI fabulous I am D2 movements and just so you guys know, we are not a group of cute, cliche ladies, okay? We are about our business in Christ, okay? So let's just get that straight. We are about our business in Christ. Yeah, we are beautiful. We are cute. But don't get it twisted, honey. We are about our business in Christ. And tonight, I am going to be teaching about how can we learn to trust God completely? How can we do that? I know some of you already do that, um, but sometimes it gets hard. It, it does because of the, how can I say, it? because of the things that we endure in life, it makes us just so discouraged. You know, for me, I'm, I'm going to always use my experiences because I, I can't speak for other, you know, other women or other people. But in my life, I have had a very, you know what, this is a, this is a good topic for me good topic which is about trust I have had a very hard time in my life trusting people even God even God I've had a hard time with trusting God um, I am 38 years old um, I have one biological son but I've gained four children through my marriage uh, let's see mm -hmm. I'm just trying to give you guys a little information about Mika, because you all I'm pretty sure you guys always see me on Facebook or whatever. Mika Gaddis, Mika da da da. But you you know, you really don't know who I am. I am a fun loving person. I am I like to have fun. Um, but when it comes down to these scopes, girl, let me tell you, you have to do some research, you have to prepare. And during that time I learn a lot about trust and trusting God and trusting people. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is, since we do have some people on here that maybe are single or married or dating, and we know that's the hot topic right now because everybody wants to be dating or married or have that special someone, but in order to go forward with that, we need to, to work on our self-issues. So one of my self-issues I'm going to talk about tonight is trust. Because I didn't trust anybody. I didn't trust my family members. And it's not because I was, you know, self-conscious about what they were doing. Or if they were going to do something um, that wasn't, how can I say, wasn't pleasing to God or anything. I just was very, I was a very skeptical person. And with that being said, it's because I didn't know that I didn't need to worry about trusting people. I needed to worry about and, and invest my time in trusting God because once you trust him, everything else lines up. He guides you to people that you can trust only if you follow his word and be obedient in him. Um, one verse that I researched about trusting God, I'm going to read this to you. And it's um, Hebrews... 11 and 6 and we all know when you trust God one of the primary things that have to take place in trusting God is faith 
so faith and trust in god i believe go hand in hand because you can't have one without the other that's how i look at it so this verse reads faith is more than a positive thinking positive thinking will not produce faith faith is trust in god hello didn't i just say that guys didn't i just say that <laughs> let me repeat that faith is trust in god okay the only way to develop faith is to learn to know god hello okay guys didn't i just say i didn't know god i did not know god i was so busy worried about trusting people that, that that's not even that's not even an issue no forget about trusting people trust him first that's the priority trust him okay and it says no and the only way to develop faith is to learn to know god since he is trustworthy as we learn to know him, we spontaneously learn to trust him. Faith is trusting God. Lord, I just love that. Faith is trusting God. Faith is trusting God. We have to do everything in faith and trust. It's just like a sandwich. You, you're going to eat a sandwich with nothing in between? It's plain Jane. What, what is it going to do for you? It's not going to fill you up. But when you put all the meat and potatoes in between that sandwich... That's what I call faith working in hand in hand with God, trusting God. Okay, that's what you call a meaty sandwich. You will get full of that. Okay. Um, uh, what else do we have? And faith is trusting God when things don't turn out the way we expect. Okay. I like that. Now the verse, Hebrews eleven and six says this without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is that god exists and that he is a rewarder rewarder of them that diligently seek him okay god is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him not those who seek merely his blessings but those who seek him are the ones who find their reward for he is the reward all right i like that and, and basically that's just saying well that's the understanding that i got from that is you don't want to have faith in God or believe in him to for him to do stuff for you or for, or for you to receive things. Because at the end of the day, we all know we're not worthy of nothing God has done for us, but he still does it. Okay. Trust. Man, I tell you, I'm, I'm going to talk about me trusting people. When you trust, when I trusted people, I was disappointed. I was hurt. I was upset. I was frustrated because I thought that these people really owed me something. I thought that these people really were supposed to be something to me that now that I see that I trust God, that only God could have been to me. So when things didn't go my way, I didn't trust these people anymore. Maybe it could just be a simple thing of you. If I call a girlfriend up and I say, hey, you know, I need a ride to work. And for some apparent reason, she may not be able to give me that ride to work. I didn't trust her no more because she didn't she didn't come through. She didn't trust. So that at that end of that's it for me. Okay, she couldn't come take me to work. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Mm -mm. That's not the route that we go. That's not the route that we go. But we often do that because we don't know how to trust God completely. And at that times in my life, I did not know how to trust Him completely. I do I know how to do that now? Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I know how to trust him completely. Do I sometimes want to do things in my own strength? Yes, we're human. We're women. We, we are strong women that always carry a lot. So that's in our nature to just want to do everything. Like Jill always says, DTMing, doing the most. That's what we always like to do, doing the most. But you have to fall back and reevaluate things in your life and trust God because each time that we try to make a decision without trusting him, honey, I can bet my life savings and everything I got in my life is not going to go right. It is not going to go in your favor at all. Prime example, I when I started dating my husband back in 2011, I didn't trust him. And I told him, I was like, look. I don't trust you. I don't I don't even think this relationship should and we were just talking on the phone. I was like, I don't even think this relationship is gonna be, you know, worth my time. You're a nice guy, you're sweet and all that, but I don't trust you. And I just kept saying that to him. And he just was laughing. He's like, Why baby don't trust I was like, I just don't. 
I just don't. You might as well just keep it 100. I don't trust you. So within that time frame, he was like, well, I'm going to show you, you know, that I can gain your trust. I said, fine, but I don't think I'm going to trust you. That's just me. I don't, I'm not going to trust you. And it was not because I was hurt by men in the past. I didn't trust God first. So when you trust God first, it makes it more sensible when you have to be in certain situations like you have to trust people. Like we have to trust that our investors or sometimes people in the workplace are doing the best interest as a team because we all know you can't do anything by yourself. You need people. So when you need people to do things for you or you need people to help you grow and do things, you have to put your trust in them. You have to put your trust in them. But God will lead you to the people that you can trust. So I honestly, it, I would honestly say it took me two years, almost three. And my husband and I were dating four years before we got married. We just got married last year, September. For me to honestly say that I trusted him. It, it took me just that long. Um, I know people may think, well, how could you be in a relationship with someone that long that you didn't trust? Because I'm going to tell you something. You can deal with a situation and don't trust that situation, but you will, you will deal with it indirectly, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I cared about him. I loved him with all my heart, but I didn't trust him. And that's, and, and that's pretty, that's, in my eyesight, I felt like that was, that was a comfort zone for me because he didn't rush me to trust him yet. It, it led up to, you know, times where I just was like, you know what? I just don't think this is going to work because I don't trust you. And he was just like, well, why do you keep saying that? And that's just, and, and I just, that was just something I had to pray about. I really had to pray and was like, God, you know, you brought this, this guy to me and I just, you know, and I, I just don't understand why I'm not able to trust him. And that was okay because sometimes when you meet people right off the bat, you right when you meet them, you're not supposed to trust them like that. You will, no, no, you, you have to take your time to, and they have to gain, you have to figure it out. They either have to gain some level of trust with you and you have to do vice versa. It's going to have to work both ways. He can't put all his trust in you. You can't put all your trust in him. And at the end of the day, you feel some kind of weight. Mm -mm. Trust in God first. God first. And when I was able to manifest that issue in my life with trusting God, when everything else, you know, it, it just worked out for, for the good. I learned to trust him in ways that I've never trust any man or any human being before. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I learned to trust him in ways that I didn't even think that I could trust in that way because I've never allowed myself to trust wholeheartedly with anybody. I always had that skeptical, um, you know, thoughts about people just because people are people of who they are. You know, there's just people because of who they are. But now that I trust God in everything that I do, I don't have to worry about trusting people. I don't. I don't. Um, do I think that they would ever um, do things that I may, may not um, like? Or I try not to surround myself with people that, that would do that. But we, we're not perfect and people make mistakes. But I honestly believe, and I've seen it so much in my life, um, through my jobs, career, children, everything. Like my son, for, for example. He used to be a little rambunctious little kid. He's 15 now, but he was very, very rambunctious, very. And um, when he would get little, little, little notes and letters home saying, well, Kevron didn't pay attention today. Oh, Kevron didn't follow the rules. Already in my mind, I'm like, you know, I don't trust these teachers. They just, they just got all this stuff going on about my child. I don't trust them. Mm -mm. It wasn't that. It was just that I didn't trust them but now I had to think about it like oh my god Tanika you know you can't go through life not trusting anything that's going on I, it, that that's like a barrier it's an obstacle it it keeps you from success it keeps you from knowing the truth when you when you when you have a barricade or something in your life that is hindering you and trust is a big thing because 
people you you can't get a loan if people don't trust you you can't get money if people don't trust you you probably can't back to the girlfriend needing a ride to the job you might be can't get a ride from nobody if they don't trust you you can't get nothing so trust does work both ways god trusted us with a lot of things he trusts us with with careers he trusts us with finances and the reason why i say he trusts us with those things because he gives them to us he gives them to us if he don't trust you one thing i know if god doesn't trust you with a certain level of things you won't get it you will stay in that standstill until you can show him that you are strong in this area you are obedient in this area and when i say strong in this area i mean obedient to his word in this area that's right. You can wish, you can pray all day long for a new house, new home, new car, husband. But if you don't know how to trust him, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You have to take self out of it because it's not. It's not about us. It's about trusting him, being obedient with what he wants us to do. So with that being said, I had to drop, drop a lot of. How can I say? I was like a. A flaw for a person, but I had to become flawless. I mean, I had to just shed off a lot of things that I had when it came to trust because I needed to be transparent. I needed to know why can I trust? Why is it hard for me to trust? And the more and more that I seek God and I pray, He showed me why it was hard. He showed me. And the answer was because I didn't want to trust i was afraid of trusting but all these years that i went through life not trusting people i didn't know that that was why and you heard what i said at the beginning i just was like oh that that's just me that's just the way i am that wasn't true that was one of the biggest lies i was telling myself because i didn't know any better that's not how i was or or how i am i didn't know that that was the reason why it was hard for me to trust people until God showed me, he said, Tamika, this is why it's hard for you. So once I learned not to be afraid to trust God, everything was lining up. I, it was people, you know, that came into my life that I was like, I didn't have to second guess. If they were telling me the truth about my career, or they were telling me the truth about my, my prayer life. That even lines up with your preachers and your, your teachers and just mentors, everybody that you have. In your life that's pouring into you you have to trust them but if you have to trust God first because God is not going to lead us wrong when he's sending people in our lives to help us and to guide us um, I often you know used to pray for this and I still do at times I still do you know God please continue to bless everybody in my life that's connected to me bless them in abundant ways oh father God bless me to not only just, you know, be dead weight to them. I don't like to do anything or be a part of anything to where I am not doing, you know, my part. You know, you know, not saying that I had to go above and beyond, but I want people to say, you know, Tamika is accountable. Tamika is trustworthy. Um, Tamika is dependable. These are things that gain trust with people, but you just can't say it. You have to, you have to do. It's like you have to do. Anybody can say, well, I'm honest. I'm trustworthy. Or you can trust me. No. We all know it has to be some actions. There has to be some things that is going to take place where the trust is then recognized. That's right. And I'm going to bring a point out with DMI. Jill and Trill trust us that when we become ambassadors, we cannot, you know, when we're connected to them, they have a certain image and character to um, uphold. So when we made a choice to become ambassadors, well, when I made the choice, I'm going to say for me, when I made the choice to become um, an ambassador of DMI, I prayed about it. I, I prayed about it and I said, God, you know, if this is... You know a group that I can you know support them in any way and they can support me and grow together as powerful the the powerful phenomenal women that we are I want that I want to be a part of that I need to I need to be a part of that so with that being said it holds you accountability for things 
once again, your brand. If you're branding yourself in a way that you're saying you're a Christian, you're a Christian believer, and I love God, then your actions have to show it. And when I I, I look at being a member of DMI Ambassador as I, I love those ladies. I, I, I'm thankful that they trust me, Tamika, to be a part of this because I'm pretty sure... I mean, I don't know how it works. I don't know if they had like a million people probably wanting to be ambassadors. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they do have to filter things out in a way to where they just can't, you know, have any and everybody, you know, be an ambassador because they do have an image to uh, protect. But once again, they trust God. So God is not going to put things or people in their path that is not going to increase. And when I say increase, I mean increase what they're doing, increase what we're doing in the kingdom. He's not going to do that. So for some level, they don't have to worry about that because they've trust God first. And I thank God that he has surrounded me with women that was able to, you know, be strong hearted and trust in him. Because at the end of the day, if you don't trust God, you're going to be exhausted with trusting people. I'm going to just put it out there because I was exhausted with trusting people. I still to this day like, oh, Tamika, okay, don't trust, you pray on this first before you even make a decision, before we even go forward, to pray about it. Because we know we always want to do things sometimes spontaneously or sometimes it just feels right. It just feels right. And sometimes it is right. But if we're not trusting God, nothing that we ever going to do is going to make any sense. I know it didn't make sense for me because all I was just like, I don't I was in an introvert part of my life and didn't even know. Did not even know. I just thought, oh, that's just the way I am. I'm just doing my own thing. You know, people say, you always by yourself, Tamika. You always, you go out by yourself. You, you always, I always see you riding by yourself. I never see you in a car with a bunch of girls or yada, yada, yada. And yeah, don't get me wrong. I was very sociable, but I did not like people in my face a lot. I did not like people in my space for a long period of time. I would get agitated. I would just get frustrated. And, um, I didn't know that. I didn't know. I just thought that I was just doing my own thing and nobody was on my level. I was on a level by myself and I don't need nobody frustrating me today. So I was just hoping nobody said or didn't think that's because I didn't know. I didn't know God. I didn't trust God. And now that I've learned to trust him, <laughs> now that I've learned, <laughs> Jill is a mess. Now that I've learned to trust him, I don't worry about trusting people. Guess what? People can do what they want to do. I don't even care if they do me wrong. Let them do me wrong. I'm going to love them and keep it moving. Yeah, if I see them on the side of the road, I'll be like, darn, now you know. Now this girl just was talk bashing me on Facebook, but I'm I'm going to give her a ride. Hey, sister girl, you need a ride. Because that's what God wants us to do. We, we don't trust him that he done worked everything out. Everything that, that's coming in our path is for a reason. But being able to trust God is strong. That's a strong, mighty thing to do. That's a strong, mighty thing to do because you have to trust things that you don't understand. You got to trust things that you don't see. You got to trust things that you don't know the answer to. And God is all of those things. God is, God is, we can't understand nothing he's doing. We're not supposed to. We're not supposed to. We cannot understand him blessing when the blessings are coming and not coming when we asking. No, 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 no. We can't, we can't ask, we can ask God things. Well, God, why are you doing, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Sometimes you get an answer. Sometimes you may not, but you still have to trust him. You still have to trust him. And I promise you guys, I promise you, if you just try, you will see your life transform in a way that you would never imagine. I'm talking about, I never thought in a million years that I would be able to trust anybody or anything they said. Hmm. Me? Not Tamika. No. Trust? No. That just wasn't, that just wasn't my thing. It just was trust. I'm looking at you like the people say on Facebook, side eye, side eye. I'm not trusting that. But now I don't have to worry about the side eye, the middle eye, the back. I don't care because I trust God. And he got my back. He got y'all back too. But you got to try him. You got to try him. Ah, that's right. Side eye. You know how they do. You know. But guys, it, you know what? I tell you what. This was a good scope for me to research. Because 
I still have a little bit of, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you that I, I still don't have a little trust thing going on now because I do, but I have graduated from not trusting people altogether. I'm graduating from that now. I'm graduating from that. Um, I still trust, but like, I'll give you a good example. I have a very good practice manager now. She, she's awesome. I love her. I don't trust her. I don't trust her as far as I can see her. And I'm working on that. She, she hasn't, you know, crossed me in any ways. I just don't trust the lady. And I pray for her. I talk to her all the time. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know growth work. I'm telling you. And I'm and I'm and every day she good morning, Tamika. How you doing? Have a good just nice sweetest pie. Don't get me wrong. But those are people that I I I do know something wrong with them. You nice all the time. You never something wrong with you. But no, it's not. It's not nothing wrong with her. That is just her genuine spirit. That's her genuine spirit because people say people say that to me too sometimes at work. Tamika, you always smiley good morning and da da da. But they know when I'm not because I didn't have my chai latte. Now, if I don't have that chai latte, I might don't say nothing to nobody. No, I'm just kidding. But I I do still a little bit have some trust things. I do. She does have the joy in the Lord. She does. She does. Because I asked her. Her name is Miss Sue. I said, Miss Sue, do you pray? Do you know God? She was like, I do, Tamika. By the grace of God, I'm still here doing this job. Because without him, I wouldn't be doing it. I said, Miss said, Sue, you're right. Amen. Amen to that. So, yeah, she is genuinely just a sweet person. But I don't trust her. <laughs> I, I'm trying. I mean, I don't trust her. But she's, she hasn't shown me anything not to. It's just a part of my growth work that I am going to um, work on. I am going to work on that. But yes, guys, um, it's been a busy Friday. Um, like I said, traffic was, was just a mess. But if you guys have any questions you want to ask me about trust, about anything, because I trust you guys that you're going to ask me something good, okay? I trust that. I trust that. If you don't want to, you know, ask me anything right now, that's fine. I don't mind, but, um, Friday night, I don't have nothing too much on my agenda. Um, I, my kids are downstairs. They come every weekend. You know, my two girls, step girls come every weekend. So when I got in the house, I ran in the house and they were all downstairs. Hey, hey, hey. I said, hey, I got a scope. This is Kevron. My son, his name is Kevron. Mom, it's 640 something. You you late. You late. I said, no, son. I'm scoping at 7. I'm not late. He talking about, oh, well, you sure don't got much time. Just, <laughs> I said, Kevron, I know. So I came upstairs and I tried to straighten up a little bit and did what I had to do because I wanted to be on time. That's another thing. I trust God, even though I was looking at this traffic today, knowing it takes me two, <laughs> I'm saying two hours, but it feel like two hours. I was like, Lord, I got a scope at seven. I don't know what, it's a struggle trying to find routes to get home from where I work. And I'm like, Lord, you know, you're going to, you're going to work this out. And he did that. He worked it out because I trusted him. And you can trust him in something simple like that, being on time for something. Trust him. He'll get you there. He'll get you there. Now, if you can't trust him with the small things, if you, I like that. That might be another scope, guys. If you can't trust God with a small thing, how do you expect him to trust you with a big thing? Oh, how do you expect him to trust you with a big thing if you can't trust him with a small thing? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think that that's not gonna work. You gonna have to trust him with everything, big or small, everything, big or small. And when you start doing that, then he'll start trusting you with big things, real big things. And I don't mean like finances, houses, and car cars. I'm gonna tell you one big thing that he blessed me with. Every day I can see it, Lord. I thank you. A peace of mind. When God wakes me up every morning and I hit that floor, I got a peace of mind. That's priceless. Did I always have that? No, because I didn't trust God. I didn't trust him. So I was ne I thought I had a peace of mind, but I never did. I never did. But now, there's, and, and trust, the biggest thing to do, to, the hardest thing for me to trust God is when things are not favorable for me. It, that, was, that was hard. It, some areas in my life, I still, I still struggle with that. But not as much as I used to. Not as much as I used to. Um, 
It is 7.30, guys. Yeah, I started my scope on time. And I'm going to end it on time because I know y'all don't feel listening to me all night on a Friday night. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. I ain't even mad because I'm sure about to go downstairs um, and probably, I don't know, watch some Netflix or something. I don't even know. But And watch the kids see what they got going on. But I love you guys. Um, I was very nervous with these scopes. I still am. But I thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Um, you made the scope so much easier for me. I appreciate that. And um, once again, I want to thank Jill and Trill for trusting me, you know, to talk to people and, you know, share things that happen in my life and, you know, just trusting me with a lot of things. And, and I appreciate that. And they, they hold you accountable. So now that you've tried to take advantage that's my husband <laughs> now that you've tried to take advantage of being an ambassador just know it's work it's work now oh don't think you we just go now that don't let that selfish stick fool you now we have fun at the brunch and bandit but huh it's gonna be work boo just know when they start sending out them emails oh and you need to purchase the love like crazy attraction you need to purchase that now i got mine on a discount because i because when they puts out those promo deals I, yeah, this is my head kills. He at the door right now. He done shut the door. Uh, when I get my stuff right when they puts that stuff out, oh, oh, I'll be listening. These ears be listening in. So when they put them promo codes out, they saying, hey, we gonna, we going to knock this down for two days to Mika be on it. Even if I can't get to it to really jump in, guess what? I done got my products. I got my products. I got my products and my services. So I'm going to tell y'all right now. Being a part of this group is work. And if you want to see re results in DMI, you got to put in some work too. You got to put in some work too. And I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to just go ahead and put it real. And, I, and I'm happy for them to make us do work. Because, you know, we, you know, we don't be wanting to do no work if we ain't getting paid. You know. You know how people do. But guess what? We all getting paid. We all getting paid knowledge, wisdom, and serving the kingdom. All that you're doing. Money can't buy you none of that. That's stuff you got to do from the heart because you love and you trust God. Love and trust and faith. That's right. I love my fabulous ambassadors, everyone, the new ones, the old ones. Um, as abstaining for Jesus, that is how I found Jill and Trill, just to let you know. And yeah, I didn't trust myself. But no, what I did was I followed them. Abstaining for Jesus, I followed that. Oh, God, that website, that blog, I want to say since 2010, 2011. And um, just to see what it was about, you know. And just everything, every time I chimed on and I looked at it and I read it and I looked at the post and I, and I read what they were doing. I was like, man, this is awesome. This is this is some good stuff. But I prayed and said, God, you know what? If this is a you know organization that you want me to be involved, you show me the way. And he showed me and I thank him for that. I thank him. I thank him. So, ladies, just know we have work to do with DMI, and it's going to be fun work, but we're going to have to study and be held accountable. I mean, that's our sisters. That's what they want us to do. They want us to, you know, be model, respectful queens of the kingdom. So, guys, it's 734. So, like I said, I'm not going to keep you long. And besides, my hubby's home now. So, you know, I got to give him a little, a little attention or whatever. You know how that go. But love you, love you, ladies. I appreciate your time. And I want to close out and say everyone have a blessed and prosperous weekend. I have to work. I pick up extra hours on Saturdays sometimes. Only like two Saturdays a month. That's it. They already know. I do my first two Saturdays because at the end of the month, I will be in Baltimore at, oh, another DMI Brunch and Branding. Girl, what you say? I will be with, what, another Brunch and Brandy? Yes, in Baltimore, February 27th. I already got my ticket through JetBlue, and I only paid $88 for a round trip. I did. I sure did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jim and Cheryl was on point with that. They told us. They said, hey, go on JetBlue. Get your ticket. I was on it. Mm -hmm. There's another good event coming up. Give myself a week conference. 
awesome. I mean, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm shaking in my knees. I'm shaking in my knees. Shaking in my knees. Because I'm ready for that. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready. Because I know he can. I'm going there to receive. I ain't going there to look cute. I mean, I'm going to be looking cute, but I'm going there to get me some goods, girl. I'm going there to get me some goods. Because they got some goodies for us. I just thank God that these women put the time in. They put they they put they all their time into us to make sure we get what we need. Because, honey, right now I'm ex I'm exhausted, so I need some replenishing. Yeah, I go to church on Sunday. That's good. I love it. But this 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 conference that's coming up, giving myself away. I never did marry God, and I'm about to. So I'm a. And when you do that, you know. Hmm. <laughs> transformation begins and never ends when we do that but thank you ladies once again you guys have a prosperous and blessed weekend and we will chat soon bye bye love ya oh and stay plugged to your power source that's right oh i, I you know i can't forget that have a good night guys bye bye